Hey guys, I'm Ethan with Gobilda, and today we're going to be talking about the new 4-bar odometry pod. If you've been to an FTC event in the last year or so, you've probably seen one of these. This is a swing arm odometry pod, and they have been a fantastic addition to our lineup. They're super accurate, super robust, and they give you a lot of control as a user over how much force you want to apply to the ground. We've been super happy with these, but we felt like there was room in the market for one more option. Something that was more compact, easier to use, and pushed the boundaries of what people felt like an odometry pod could look like. To get there, we started by designing a new Omni wheel. This is a 32 millimeter diameter. It's a little under 15 millimeters wide, and it uses that same eight rex bore and uses our existing Omni wheel technology that we've really perfected on that 48 millimeter wheel. This new Omni wheel is the core of the four bar odometry pod. It gets its name from the four bar linkage it uses to track the ground. It has these two plastic A-arms, which hinge in the pod and on the mount, and a built-in spring so that it can ride against whatever surface you're tracking and give that wheel the perfect amount of force to get a really accurate reading. That internal torsion spring means this pod is easier to use and mount than ever. You can just bolt it to your robot, and as long as it's about the right ride height from the ground, which will happen as long as your drive wheels are about 96 millimeters, if you have a go build a chassis, it'll adapt to that surface, and you really don't have to think about it. It applies almost exactly the same amount of force as our recommended setup for a swing arm pod, but it does it without you having to worry about where exactly the two ends of that spring are mounted. It's all built into the pod. Our biggest goal with this new compact pod was to keep everything running crazy smooth. We love the ball bearing pivots of a swing arm odometry pod, and we felt like we wanted to retain that really smooth movement even when force is applied to the pod itself. This really led us to this linkage-based design because we can still use the ball bearings we know and love here at GoBuilda. This uses steel shafts that run through ball bearings in the mount and in the pod. It creates that four bar action and we've really tightly controlled the tolerances so there really isn't any backlash between the pod and the mount. Now this leverages the same electronics technology we have been super happy with in our swing arm pod. It uses the same encoder, the same magnet, but that smaller wheel means a slightly increased resolution. Now the resolution on the swing arm pod is pretty excessive already, so this really isn't an improvement, but it is a change from the previous pod. We wanted this kit to include everything you needed to get this up and running on your robot. So we included a JSTPH cable and four socket head screws, which you need to bolt it to your chassis. Let's go ahead and bolt this to a channel and see just how easy it is. All you have to do is slot it in the channel, in the orientation and in the placement you'd like, line up the holes and screw everything in. We're going to show off the new orientation that isn't possible with a swing arm odometry pod. Now, one of my favorite parts about this product is the mount. It uses a lot of the design language we love from our quad block pattern mounts. So you can put it pretty much anywhere on a channel and you don't really have to think all that much about it. It's got holes through the top, holes through the sides and holes in the back. The holes in the back of that mount are what we're gonna use right now to bolt it into this channel perpendicularly. Now we've got the mount solidly inside this piece of channel, and you can see we've got all this throw in our four bar odometry pod up and down. Now from ride height, which has these four bars about horizontal, you get 12 and a half millimeters of upward throw and about 17 millimeters of downward throw. So there's plenty of travel in the system to account for even some small bumps or pieces of terrain you might have to drive over. Now we did some pretty thorough stress testing. The plastics used in this pod are really f nice engineering grade plastics that include some fiberglass fill. Now, one of the reasons we picked plastic here is its ability to flex and return to shape. If you hit a metal part enough that it's gonna bend, it's gonna bend and likely deform where plastic really likes to bounce right back to the position it was in previously. This gives you some flex side to side where if this was to take some impact, it'll return right back to form and work just as new. We're really excited to hear what you think about our new swing arm odometry pod. It's one of my favorite products. It's just cool how it pushes the boundaries of what an odometry pod has previously looked like. If you have questions about this or other products we sell at GoBuilda.com, feel free to reach out to us to tech at GoBuilda.com.